Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back. This is our bi monthly. We're going to be doing monthlies and bi monthly. So, this is for Saggies out there for the week of August the 1st through the 15th. It's timeless, so it doesn't matter when you actually get it. The dates are just for me, okay? Take what resonates. This is for your rising sun, moon, Venus, Jupiter, Cuspers, cross watches. Y'all know the drill. Take what resonates, leave the rest on the eye and raw. So this is for y'all bi-weekly saggies, okay? Make sure y'all look in the uh, description box for any changes. I've made changes down there. So follow the description box. Uh, if you want a private reading, I am on week 9, August 9. So I'm already booked up for this week on my private readings. And I'm booking up for next week. So first come, first serve. My information will be down below if you guys want to order a private reading, all right? So again, uh, this is for our Saggies coming in. Uh, Wednesday, I will be on my YouTube channel live at 6 uh, for Wednesday, August the 4th, doing questions and answers for Tesla and Angel numbers. And I will be on the Clubhouse Friday, question and answers for Tesla numbers and Angel numbers at 6 p.m. That, that, those are both uh, Central Time, all right? Texas Time. So mark the calendar if you're on Clubhouse uh, come along. So again, nine of pentacles, y'all guys are leveling up, raising the bar, putting yourself first. This is your self-worth card. Nine of pentacles, you guys are walking in, sadly, to your, uh, life purpose, your life mission. Woo! With the sun card. Now this came out in Taurus, in, uh, Taurus reading a while ago. So if y'all got Taurus in your chart, uh, Sagittarius is make y'all, make sure y'all go back and look at, uh, uh, Taurus is reading as well. Okay. So again, y'all got abundance coming in because you guys are putting yourself first and you guys are leveling up. The sun is shining. Vitality. Uh, y'all are glowing. Okay. Y'all are, y'all are just woof. Look at there. Control over your emotions. Uh, queen of cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, no more hanging around. Okay. No more hanging around, singing a sad song. Y'all are letting go, releasing any physical attachments. To waiting for an offer coming in Pisces Cancer Scorpio y'all are taking things into your own account your own hands focusing on your career focusing on your work no more waiting for things to happen Sagittarius y'all are going out there uh, making things happen y'all got the balance y'all need that's divine masculine Sagittarius energy coming in there you guys were waiting uh, for this this Queen of Cups maybe on a mother figure or maybe on this is y'all person coming in here and you guys want to purchase a house, uh, a home, balance coming in. So I feel like y'all going to have to create that space. If y'all want balance in y'all work and what y'all working on, you're going to have to create that space for that to come in and let go of any physical attachments y'all got to the outcome with that hangman. And look at y'all planning for the future. Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Y'all are planning to buy a property or to buy a house. Interesting because both of these cards came in in Taurus reading right beside each other again. So y'all could be dealing with an earth sign or y'all could be dealing with a fire sign. So you guys are planning a future, planning to purchase a house or just looking at things being more balanced in your work and in your home life and things will be coming you know, into balance with that hard work is going to pay off. There's not going to be any more waiting. You guys, like I said, could be looking at purchasing a property, purchasing some farmland, uh, purchasing, purchasing some type of business workspace for you guys. That's balance, uh, temperance, divine timing. This card want to come out again. Y'all are walking away from anything that is not balanced in y'all life. Okay. Uh, so you got sun and moon balance. You got a twin flame balance. Again, nine of pentacles coming in here strong for y'all. Saggies, uh, y'all are leveling up, raising the bar, staying, com staying committed to yourself, putting yourself first, reserving, you know, picking the best for yourself and putting yourself first. And y'all got a lot of wisdom. There's an owl up there. Uh, y'all are being guided by the spirit, by your, uh, higher up self, okay, your creator, and you guys are aiming high and reaching high, and you're not selling for less with that nine of pentacles, because y'all know your self-worth and your value, and y'all know what y'all want and deserve. Woo, chariot card, moving on. So you guys are going to be moving on, by purchasing a house and not waiting anymore, like I said, with that hangman, moving forward with y'all life. What's this trying to come out? Virgo energy coming in. You guys doing a lot of self-reflection about y'all future, about y'all work. You got the eight of pentacles, 
uh, putting in the work uh, toward your future goals, waiting on your ships to come in and doing a lot of self-reflecting with Virgo energy, a lot of analyzing things, okay? Bringing things into perspective. Uh, stuck up in your head overthinking, okay? Because Virgos are, are analyzers, so they do a lot of uh, uh, detailing and analyzing things, but y'all got to get out of your head like Fred and Frida and stop overthinking uh, this move forward, uh, Virgo, that y'all are staying up all night losing sleep over, uh, overthinking things through, all right? Again, the uh, nine of wands, the commitment card, the test card, you guys got your walls up, you're guarded. So y'all are blocking this move forward and the universe is trying to bring y'all in an ace of pinnacle, a fresh new start, but you guys are, because of being wounded and hurt, you guys are blocking out your own fresh new start here. You're at the end of a cycle. You have a new start coming in with that Ace of Pentacles. There's a higher level commitment here also that the universe is trying to give to y'all uh, uh, and offer to y'all for all that hard work and those efforts y'all did up there with that Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Jupiter and success, Sagittarius popping back in here again. So you guys got to let your walls down so that that new abundant a uh, higher level commitment can come in and not be afraid of uh, past hurt life from people that y'all had to walk away from, people, places, and things that no longer served y'all because there wasn't any balance in those relationships. So y'all are uh, showing up Sagittarius twice with the Temperance, my little red-headed bra, and uh, the Will of Fortune. This is destiny and fate for y'all to have that uh, ace of pentacle, new money, new job, new career, new fortune, new fame. Uh, but again, a little reserved about moving forward because of the past life. So that's cancer and Virgo. Y'all could have been dealing with a cancer and y'all are wounded over moving forward for y'all future and getting a new fresh start uh, after dealing with a third party here that y'all were dealing with. Could have been a breakup in a home and a family. Y'all called it quits and went your separate ways here with this Ten of Sword energy. Okay, so there and then on the all card is y'all want to come in here with this new offer for a queen of cups. And this could be an older woman and a younger man relationship or vice versa. Or this could be that you guys are attracted to someone that's more emotionally balanced and mature. And y'all have that less uh, mature energy, how to express yourself emotionally after being hurt. So feel like this is almost like a mother-son relationship, but not a mother-son relationship in the way that I feel like y'all, this person makes y'all nervous and makes y'all feel innocently like a little child because of their compassion, okay, uh, for the way they handle their emotions. This person is emotionally balanced and this person is holding back their emotions, but you guys are wanting to come in there under all and express those emotions in a sincere way. Okay, y'all could have not taken this person serious as as so. So now y'all coming in there a little frisky with that page of wand, excitement, travel, spontaneity, uh, wanting to be spontaneous, but wanting to keep stuff fresh and new and exciting. Page of, that was in reverse until I flipped it up. So uh, five of pinnacle, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, somebody wants to be coming out of the cold out of those cold emotions with the queen pen, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This person sees you as somebody stable, grounded. Look at y'all coming in there. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Single, Nine of Wands, Queen of Pentacle, moving forward with y'all uh, attended target and goals, moving and working on this relationship and this self-worth and coming out of a poverty mindset of thinking you guys are not worthy or don't deserve this Ace of Pentacle, this uh, higher level commitment and this Jupiter success and abundance. So this is like insecurities talking, I feel. Because of a breakdown in a family structure, I feel like there's a lot of insecurities that need to be worked on here. Uh, with possibly losing of a home, left out, loss of income, anything that has to do with a lack mentality, a poverty mindset that you guys are having to deal with because that's what's got y'all guarded in the first place with the nine of wands and so guarded that y'all are not able to move on to this new beginning that the universe is trying to offer y'all. So there's a queen of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be some manipulator that y'all got uh, that's around y'all, okay? That's making y'all feel, yep, queen of sword and the queen, the king of sword. This is a power couple. You guys were married before or y'all maybe still married and trying to separate or trying to work things out. Stuck up in your head like Fred and Frida. 
uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this person can't get y'all off their mind. They don't want to let y'all go. So that's the hang up here. Somebody don't want to let go. Yep, look at there. The three of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, uh, Virgo, somebody want to work this out. Look at there. And there you go right there. So this person is single or divorced and this person is standing in the way. So this could be some karmic energy, third party stuff, because this is a power couple here. Y'all verse, y'all both uh, need to move on past whatever that turbulence is with that six of uh, sword, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Y'all may be going y'all separate ways. Somebody could be put out. Okay. Somebody could be put out. Mm-hmm. Y'all could have ended, could be separated. Trying to bring things back into balance. There was another woman in the picture. Another, a, a younger man in the picture, possibly. Uh, what else, spirit? Gemini, woo, somebody wants to come in there and, woo, commit. Somebody wants to build this thing, Okay. You guys are both intuitive. They want, they, they're they all wrapped up in their head. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius about this relationship. They see y'all as equal. Y'all both are very uh, logical and rational. And this person wants to build a hot new relationship with y'all. This person wants to come in and commit. This is like somebody that wants to build a serious relationship or has a lot of secret lovers here. Secret uh, compassions that they're keeping secret. Um, it almost feel player, uh, manipulative energy, uh, toxic energy. That this person is is a self sabotager when they get close. When they get close to relationships, they self sabotage them. They self sabotage them by shutting down and putting up a wall. Okay, and the universe is trying to really clearly say like this is destiny and fate. You don't have to be afraid. Uh, because this is destiny and fate, because they're urging y'all to move forward. They're trying to move y'all forward, Cancer and Virgo and Sagittarius here and Taurus. They're trying to move y'all forward to come out of that uh, Virgo uh, energy of overthinking and overanalyzing, being over logical and over rational, because it's keeping y'all stuck up in the head like freedom and freedom. And it's keeping y'all left out in the cold away from love, away from a solid commitment, okay? And away from y'all being selfish so, so this this is like the universe is trying to get y'all out of being selfish here uh sagittarius and opening up y'all heart chakra what else yep thinking about your future planning two of wands got a decision to make regarding a love a choice in love king of cups y'all are definitely a power couple you got both swords king and queen of swords out and both queen and king of cups out so y'all are definitely a uh, very intuitive very logical look trying to bring things into balance juggling things juggling uh your money your finance juggling third party uh relationship or long distance relationship yep reconciliation is coming back in so you guys are trying to work out a reconciliation or come together all right a celebration for some of you guys the universe is putting y'all back together getting y'all on the same page or y'all are trying to get on the same page or y'all are having problems or difficulties getting on the same page with a third party with a separation some of y'all may be feeling this time to move on and to end that worry that anxiety that overthinking of trying to force the situation and just allowing the situation to unfold naturally because y'all going against the grain of the universe when you're trying to you know bring it together yourself you just gotta trust the universe yep two of cups so some of you guys will be bringing things together in this new cycle Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, there will be a heart-to-heart -heart talk. There will be a reconciliation for some of y'all with a long-distance love. Bam, that y'all think the world of Taurus energy, a new cycle awaits, a new cycle is beginning. A uh, higher level commitment is uh, folding and things are turning around on major levels. Windfall, love, romance, money, woo, business. Somebody got a migraine. Who got a migraine? Y'all person that's watching and lurking and stalking, High priestess could be spying on y'all, could be uh, checking up on y'all, y'all past person, uh, your karmic energy, because they see y'all are victorious. They see y'all shining. They see y'all in the spotlight. Again, y'all could be dealing with a mother figure or a feminine energy in y'all family that doesn't want to see y'all succeed and doesn't want y'all to have this new beginning. Uh, but 
the universe is definitely putting their hands in it and turning that situation around. Uh, and these people, like I said, are having migraines and headaches because of what they're doing and what they have been doing to y'all uh, again. And this could be somebody that y'all cut off or y'all walked away from. Somebody's coming in there with a message of love, an offer, want to take y'all out on a date. Y'all are stable, secure, confident. That could be a businesswoman, okay? Y'all could be approaching a businesswoman, asking a businesswoman out, receiving a message from a uh, earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, somebody that's very stable financially, very grounded, very practical, okay? Wealthy, knows material wealth and, and knows finance. Could be a businesswoman or man because the queen of pinnacle can be either and there's going to be a new romance starting. Yep, Queen of Wands, sexy, sa sexy, savvy, and attractive and seductive. Y'all are going after that feminine energy. Bam, magnetizing, law of attraction. Y'all are creating y'all reality. So y'all are going after somebody that's hot. Y'all are reconnecting with somebody that is, you know, a fire sign possibly or got fire in their chart. Y'all are not holding back anymore. Y'all are going to fight for that connection because y'all are manifesting y'all future return on investment. Lions Gate, Stargate, Leo energy coming in, Aquarius energy coming in. You guys have planted, uh, again, worked on y'all gifts, cultivated y'all talents, having the courage and manifesting the courage and the strength to come forward and look, the world card, Taurus again. So Leo, Taurus, and Aquarius energy coming in here and what y'all have invested in is now coming full circle. It's time for y'all to stand up. Uh, and pull that inner strength in and go after the world and the reality that y'all are have manifested for yourself and created again higher level commitment so again thank y'all for that reading that is for y'all saggies hope y'all enjoy it i will see y'all again on the 16th of august for your bi-monthly or bi-weekly reading okay uh so you're gonna get them twice a week Mark your calendars or just check back on my page. All right. I'll be doing lives in between. So you still see me on TikTok and YouTube and Clubhouse. So thank y'all. Peace, love, and harmony. And if you haven't, excuse me, and if you haven't hit that subscription box or that button, go ahead and hit it. Bing, bing. Hit the bell. Okay. So that way you get the notifications and let me know below uh, if it resonates with you, if you understand who these people are, what your lesson is here. And also, it's the lesson and the message we should be reading. And if y'all want an extended, y'all know the drill. $10, 10 minutes, $50, one question, 75, two. And the master spread all cards on deck, 225. All that information will be down below in the description box. Peace, love, and harmony.